Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host, Vagal Sonari, back with Brigandine, Legend of Nursia. This is the MST playthrough, the alternate ending. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the final ending with my choice. If you have not caught that yet, by all means, please watch that first. That is in the top right hand corner. Go check that out to see which one I decided to fight first. And here comes the spoiler alert. I am going to fight on the alternate ending. The Rune God. <laughs> so we decided to fight Aurora and Endorian first. It seemed like the obvious choice from the dialogue that I experienced. So let's go ahead and get into it. I don't want to waste any time. I want to see this alternate ending and see how much sense this makes to me. Because um, I don't I don't see it happening ever. But let's let's watch. <laughs> オーロラ。あなたは自分の血に神の血が混じっていることが許せない。その血は人間たちを苦しみへと導くから。そうね。あ。She's reasoning with her. でも人間たちはいつまでも神に従属するわけではないの。I think she said this in the in the uh the previous um video actually this exact line but man was not meant to serve the room god for all of eternity i think she said the same exact thing uh last uh last episode and that's different. <laughs> so it's Selena's, uh, um, Selena is steering the wheel essentially uh, on this uh, on this ending. So. And now they're besties. Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, what power is that? <laughs> he doesn't care. Uh. I forgive you. I never thought I would ever hear those words out of Rudo's mouth. What is the deal, Leo, man? See? Rudo took hold of the mana stone firmly and wrenched it from the brigandine. He's gonna throw it at the rune god. We're gonna get that scene. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> As he flung the mana stone into the sky, it was quickly swallowed into a vortex before disappearing in a bright flash. An ear-splitting roar echoed from the sky as if it were the wrath of God itself. Really cool shot right there, man. Really cool. I I'm still yeah, I don't this doesn't feel right to me still, but yes, that was a really, really cool shot. So but yeah, it's Selena. Selena's steering the wheel for the chorus at the end, for sure. So it's it seems like Rudo has no input. He just doesn't care what the outcome is. Uh so uh which is kind of expected actually. So he's staying in character. Let's let, I'm definitely giving him that much. So anyway, let's deploy and destroy, man. Alternate ending. Here we come. So, oh boy, 
This one uh, will be a little tougher, I think, just because there's the idols, but they shouldn't give us too much trouble, I don't think. Because we got centaurs, we should be able to take the idols down pretty easily. I gotta fight myself. That's gonna be fun. <clears throat> I'm glad I experienced the fight against the Rune God first. Yeah, when I played Holy Gustavo, that was the first playthrough I ever had, and I decided to fight the Rune God first. And uh, I'm pretty glad that happened, because it makes the most sense uh, to go against the Rune God in the very end. Um, but yeah, that's just me, so. Depending on what faction you pick, but, you know. Do not worry. We will take them down. <clears throat> Incarnation of Rune Ver Vulnerable. So we can't... Yep, okay. Okay. Yeah, we can't damage the god until we get rid of the idols. I mean, like, each one gives him, what, 20% uh, defense? Because 20, 20 times 5 would be 100. So. And they're standing next to him. So I, I'm noticing the castle hex AI, or defensive AI, is really coming into play. Even with this last battle, because Aurora went back to Endorian for the uh, uh, the AI. But now she's charging, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready. So, let's speed it up first, just so we can get there and save some time. And uh, hopefully this won't take too terribly long, but uh, yeah, just a sort of a casual battle. Uh, but we're going to make, uh, make it count for sure, so. Alright. Definitely curious to see all endings. Let me know what you guys think is the... Uh, so a after we see everything, um, comment below. Let me know what you think is the correct ending. Um, and what you would have chosen if you've been watching this entire playthrough. Or if you've played through Man of Silesia. I'd like to know what you chose first. Um, I'm willing to bet most people chose to fight the, to fight uh, Endorian and side with the Rune God. But uh, we'll see. Alright, we'll take that off. So... Fantastic. These centaurs are going to chew through Stella. So, green against blue. Alright, speed up the movement. Uh, that's the danger zone. This is not. Okay, we, so we can stay right there. Fantastic. Alright, stay next to Rudo. I promise I'm not going to waste that uh, God's Puppet move this, uh, this round. Because that was pretty embarrassing, not going to lie. <laughs> but what are you going to do? You know? Let's see. One, two, three. Eh. Well, I mean, you have a ton of MP. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take the shot. Why not? It's not like she's getting healed. So. Uh, Talia has a heal. But she's not in range, right? So. One, two, three, four. Yeah. She can't heal the, the other side. Um, unicorn. A brave unicorn that we uh, wasted our god's puppet. <laughs> Move on or whatever. So. Okay. Still marching. Maybe I could afford to cut some footage, but that's okay. We're just kind of like uh, casually speaking as we're walking here. I don't mind that. It's just one turn, basically. And we've already done some damage, so not a big deal. This Titan does not belong in this fight. <laughs> oh, man. At least he didn't belong in the, uh, the previous fight. He may do better here. Hmm. So. Take it off. Take it off. Oh, I'll put it back on. There we go. Maybe I should never, ever use the speed feature ever again. I keep forgetting to turn it off. <laughs> it saves so much time, man. But... Oh, there's the waste right there. Didn't It didn't even kill it. An elemental. Oh, man. Rudo, you disappoint me. Oh, my goodness. The, all the idols are right there in front of me. Oh, man. Yep. Stella's going down very quickly. Man, we're going to take down uh, these idols very quickly. Uh, let's see. Um, Rubino is going to be heavily um, weak to the green. So I need to focus him down really quick. Get some good damage in on him. So let's move. 
Let's see what we got going on for damage here. 195. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Let's go. And a crit on top of that. Look at your boy go. Here we go. All right. We're going to take out Rubino first. Yep. Ooh. Uh, we need to be here. We're going to take up some room up top here. We have... Oh, man. Crit. One shot left. All right. We got four centaurs left. So, not a big deal for you, boy. We're we're doing the work here, man. Target, the weakling. There we go. Fantastic. Stella, your turn. Say hello to my arrows. That's a kill. Very cool. If we can knock out all the idols in this one round, it's going to be pretty much game over. Let's see. We don't want to attack the red. We want to focus down either Rudo or Talia. So, let's, um... Yeah, let's go for Rudo because we're going in a row, right? Yeah, we're going in a row, so we can take him down. But, uh, let's focus Rudo. I'm so sorry. I have to destroy my own Brigandine. <clears throat> Doesn't seem right still, man. Doesn't seem right. Let's see. Very cool. All right, I can't get two targets on this elemental, which is fine. Um, so let's go down this way. Holy shot, bam. And certainly Rudo can do that much damage with his uh, regular attack. Let's see if it's possible. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely. Goodbye. Alright, no react yet. I'm not ready for it. We're going to definitely react him when we go and attack the rune god. That's going to happen for sure. So we're going to keep you close. And Dorian's going to be moving here pretty soon. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's put you right there for now. Divine Ray, Divine Ray. Hello, hello. Oof, oof. Oof. Poor Eliza, man. <laughs> Poor Eliza. My goodness. Oh yeah, by the way, I meant to mention this at the beginning. This is your last chance to vote for the next LP. It's between Gaimul and Norzalio, so please lock in your vote. Go to my main page. Go to the community tab, scroll down, and you can find the tally there. So, I haven't looked at it in about a week or so. So, uh, I'm not sure if there's been any changes or any new votes. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, and also, by the way, uh, you have until the end of today. When this episode airs, you have the end to the end of today to vote. Okay, so once that clock hits midnight, uh, the voting tally will be over. So, um, sure. She's agile though. She got seventy four percent there. We need to surround her. Okay, can we position for Divine Ray? No, we can't. I mean, on the Rune God. Not quite. Not quite. We have 100% here. 90%. I'll take it. Nice miss. And the bird's already in position for uh, physical damage against the Rune God. Fantastic. Maybe this is easier than the previous fight. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, Endorian and Aurora have a bunch of AoE attacks, so. Yeah, his is um definitely not as powerful. Ooh. Ooh, nice hit on the Holy Word. I respect this. Okay. Do not fire. <laughs> you gotta move. Are you serious? Wow, I thought he was gonna move. Yeah, he hasn't shot yet, has he? Yeah. We know. Do not worry. We will retreat. Oh, nice kill, Aurora. Hell yes. Hell yes. I love that. Okay. It's time to screw him up. Giga Impact for the win. 309. Mmm. Juicy hit right there, man. And a crit 417. Yo, that's amazing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Your boy's feeling good about this one. Yeah, this is definitely easier. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Those idols are weak, man. They are weak. You know, that's the, the one thing about uh, the custom difficulty settings. They cater very much to the main campaign, but not so much the final fights. I would like to see, like, increased difficulty in the final fights to go along with the custom difficulty settings. Um, probably an oversight, which is perfectly fine. Um, still a challenging battle at some points, but right now we're just wrecking house. But, uh, still, I would like to see, um, a more difficult final confrontation. So, or some more randomosity to it, you know what I mean? Like, more movement by Endorian and more attacks, more big attacks going off, which would require them to have more HP and stuff like that, you know? So, you could do a whole bunch of stuff to make it more difficult. But, in, in fact, that's an interesting topic. If you want to speak about how you can make this fight... Um, on both ends more difficult sound off below. Let me know. I would love to you know shoot the breeze with you guys on that one You're cleaning house man Clearance sale with the rune god <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna lose my imp here, which is fine, but uh Or I can just save him and be a good player and you know do this and all that stuff. So all right Clean mil military rule might as well. Uh, we don't have a power spell do we? Yeah, whatever doesn't matter I would have loved that to crit, man. It would have been amazing to see that. Okay, stay with Rudo. Just uh, be right here. Perfect. Um, We can shoot through. That's fine. He can take it. What do we got? 119. Yeah. Baby damage. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Let's be, let's be, uh, let's be, uh, let's be here. Okay, um, we can attack with these, so we might as well, we all, we have a ton of range stuff over here. In fact, we have only range stuff here. We might as well be in front doing some damage here, because we only need one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we only need five spaces, and there's a total of, hang on, I'm curious, um, total of one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Yeah, we only need five. So we can fill up the other two with the angels, which works out perfectly. Wonderful. All right. I will take it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bam. <clears throat> All right. What is next? Uh, let's see. Let's make some room. Might as well. So, go up here. Doesn't matter all that much. Any spaces anyways. Yeah, we get you. Let's just kill him. Let's just kill him. Alright, this is a danger zone. We have to get out. So we can do a grand wave from here. At the very least. Without dying. So. Yeah! Paralyze. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Alright, which means unfortunately I cannot get a hit with the Titan or else he's dead. So, we'll have to wait on that one. Uh, we can heal voice though. These guys need some healing looks like. So, him. Fantastic. Alright, um, I think we'll go ahead and position for Divine Ray. Might as well. Yep. And you can wait. Perfect. I think we can most definitely get him before he resummons the idols, assuming he doesn't do it this round. But I think it's—I think he waits two total rounds after they're gone. Um, but we'll see. Yep. Oh, a big old heal there. Ooh, okay, all right. Made it a little tougher for me. Except <laughs> we've got this. Twelve hundred coming at you. I have a question for you guys. I'm. Never been able to pull this off. I just had this thought. Have you ever uh, been able to allow the Rune God or Endorian to kill one or the other? Like, has Endorian or the Rune God been able to deal the final blow? I wonder if that's even possible. I'm sure it is, because you can potion uh, your, your knights up and get a whole crap ton of damage on them. And then just save it for Endorian's final blow. I don't think it does anything for the story whatsoever. Um, it's just kind of... Uh, really thematic, which is uh, which I think would be cool to see. So, 
Anyway, this is not a danger zone, is it? <laughs> I was paying attention. So curious about about that. But yeah, have you been able to pull that off? I'm very curious. I might try that one day, just casually on the PS4 version. Just um, potion a whole bunch of knights up and let the rune god live until Endorian shoots his final attack. So I'm sure I can make it work. Here's my volley of arrows. Just going ham all day, every day. Nice crit. Nice crit. I think we got him with this unit, maybe. Let's see. Where's he at? Uh, not quite. Unless, unless it's Crit City up in here, bitches. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, this was so much easier than the last one. Yeah, it's because of the uh, AoE attacks. Like, Endorian and Aurora have so much AoE damage, and they need it too. Um, oh my god! <laughs> to be fair, these centaurs have deadly bands, but uh, still they're really going off, aren't they? This is 10% right here, so I was going to say, if that's going to be a crit, come on. Alright, hang on, is Rudo going next? Yep, he's getting the final kill. Yep, he's going to dish out the final blow. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Room God, defeated. And the MST playthrough is officially complete. Thank you guys so much for joining me for that alternate ending there. Let's go ahead and enjoy the final cutscenes here after defeating the Rune God. So, yeah, I'm very curious. What did you guys choose for your ending of MST? Very, very curious. So, look at the hexes. <laughs> it's just still surrounding them. That's funny. All right, man, I'm getting fuzzy over here. I gotta shave. Yep, there's the horizon scene. Let me uh, disable the camera here for this one. Mio, ヨノ ルド<笑> すぎ去りし、ルーンの神の血を引くもの。面白いこと and thus a new legend was born, where the justice of God was no longer absolute. Very interesting. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, skip this one. You saw this in the previous episode, so we're going to skip that and go back to the title screen. <clears throat> Or we can go here, so and just close right now. But uh, yeah, we'll close as the credits go ahead and roll. So as far as that ending goes, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it makes zero sense to me that he would choose to side with Aurora at any given point. So um, yeah, I'm just going to call it there and say like the first cho choice that I made was 100% correct. <laughs> I see 0% uh, chance of this uh, ending happening. It's very interesting and to hear the dialogue between the two um, as if they're like developing some type of friendly relationship and stuff like that. 
It just doesn't seem likely that that would ever happen at any given point. Rudo doesn't really develop relationships with anyone other than himself, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyways, you guys let me know and sound off in the comments what you think would be the correct um, action to choose uh, for siding with Endor uh, Endorian or uh, siding with the Rune God. Um, my choice is definitely the Rune God, but let me know your reasons uh, for ever siding with Aurora at any given point. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys, but uh, I'm going to call it there. And once again, the poll is going to close at the end of today. So once that clock hits midnight, I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then that will be the next LP confirmed for next time. As far as the time frame goes for uploading the first episode of said playthrough, I will keep people updated on the community posts. So definitely look out for that. But I definitely will need some time and some uh, um, reincarnation of my, uh, you know, brain just to make sure that I'm not burning out on Brigandine. I love the game so, so much. You know I do. But any good thing, no matter how good it is to you, you can suffer from burnout. So I may need a little bit more time just to uh, recuperate from that. But uh, in that meantime, I might actually be able to get a lot more work done. And I've got some other things to take care of for the channel, like the Final Fantasy Marathon. There's some interesting things that I need to patch up with that, unfortunately. I won't go into that right now. But uh, I'm going to be continuing that, and once Brigandine is finished, I'll be capitalizing on that uh, marathon. Um, and as well, we're, we can talk about Trial Mode as well. I haven't done a single playthrough of Trial Mode. Um, I've dabbled with it casually, but I haven't finished a full campaign of Trial Mode. So I might do a one final playthrough that's really fun that involves the community where you guys get to choose my knights. And I can go off and do my own thing, and uh, we can work together in some sort of fashion like that. Uh, you know, giving tips in the comment section and feel like, okay, well, let's see if we can cross-class this knight to this knight, and uh, and cross-class this knight and make this, uh, you know, a thief um, sort of mage combo or something like that. We can go through all that crazy stuff, put teams together and have fun. Uh, but yeah, so I'll keep people posted um, on that after all playthroughs are finished, which is just two more. And one last thing is the question and answer video that I'm going to be releasing at the end of the next playthrough. So my intention is to collect questions from you guys on either Twitter or on my comment section of all of the next LP um, comment sections. So if you want to leave me a question for said video, then uh, go ahead and do that on each individual um, video on the Gaimel playthrough. If that, um, is of any interest to you so if i get a whole bunch of questions i'll go ahead and screenshot everything so i know who asked what and i'll you know put it on the screen so you guys get credit for your questions and you can ask me anything you like about brigandine about gaming in general about irl in general if you want to know more about you know real life in the in the life of valcos lunara you may do so so but anyways i had a ton of fun thank you ever so much for joining me for my hardest playthrough ever and my longest playthrough ever and I will catch you in the next one. I am your host, Vagosanari. I will see you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.